Hi there, my name is Arnie Advincula and I'm the Vice Chair and Chief of Gynecology at Columbia University Medical Center. And today I'm here to talk to you about the new Ally Uterine Positioning System, otherwise known as the Ally UPS. Some of you may have been historically familiar with the original uterine positioning system, but as you can see here, with some ingenuity and some modifications, we now have a much more advanced uterine positioning system that's tailored to work with your cases that you perform in the operating room, particularly your laparoscopic as well as robotic cases. Now what I'd like to do is spend some time today talking to you about how you utilize the LIUPS. First of all, in terms of attachment to your operating room table, as well as in terms of integration with the variety of uterine manipulators that are available through Cooper Surgical. So as you can see here already, mocked up on this particular operating room table, is a bracket that is here to represent where your stirrups would be located. So in other words, if you're using an Allen stirrup or a Yellowfin stirrup, you would actually mount that stirrup on this bracket on your table rail, and that would be towards the front of this table rail. Here, you have the bracket for the Ally UPS behind, and that's the way uh, the instructions are laid out for placing this on your table rail. It needs to go behind the bracket for your lower extremity stirrups. And I'm gonna show you here what that looks like. So as I stand up here, and something that you need to keep in mind is um, the coloration that's on the Ally UPS, it's here for a particular reason, and that's to distinguish for you where you're gonna hold this device when you pick it up. So this will normally come on a cart, uh, which is not in view right now, and that's where this is housed. And the cart can be brought up to the side of the table, and then you can pick it up off of the cart and mount it on the table rail. One thing I wanna mention is before I do this is normally you will have a stirrup right here in front of you and you'll have to navigate around that stirrup when you're placing the Ally UPS on the table rail. But for this case, uh, for the sake of demonstration, uh, we don't have the stirrup here, we just have the bracket to show you where you mount. And I'm gonna go ahead and just pick this up right at the blue. This is where I'm gonna hold it. Gives you more stability that way. And I'm just gonna lay this down for just a brief second so you can see here where that bracket goes, okay? Now, there are times, and I'll talk about this later, where you may want to modify the location of this bracket, um, occasionally uh, based on the patient's pathology, body habitus, and positioning on the table, I may do the opposite and mount the Ally UPS in the front, but based on the instructions for use, you clearly want to, uh, at the beginning at least, place this behind the, the bracket for your stirrup. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab it here, again, holding it by the blue. It's gonna allow me to pick it up comfortably. And you, you, know, you can certainly, if you can imagine a stirrup here, you would navigate this arm underneath the stirrup and then you would mount this back here. I'm gonna make sure that seats really well into the bracket and then you know, make whatever subtle adjustments you need in terms of sliding it and then you're gonna lock that down. And one thing that you wanna keep in mind when you load this, the way to know that this is in the right location is if you just kinda of look at the on off switch here. When you have it on, it's gonna, uh, light up green and if you kind of use that as a bit of a, of a guide or a, or a way to guesstimate where it should be is that this should be a roughly lined up with where the perineum is on the bed. So if you have this set up where you can bring this back and it's roughly mounted to where the perineum is, this, this green light, you know you're in a good location. That's going to optimize the use of your Ally UPS. So again I'm going to lock this down obviously. And of course, this is where your stirrup is, the leg is out here, and now you have the device securely mounted to the bed. So the next step then is gonna be draping this because obviously you're gonna have this involved in your sterile operative field and it needs to be draped. It's important to note that this has to be plugged in to the wall socket in order for it to work. And as you can see, it's already been plugged in here for this demonstration, but you need to make sure it's plugged in and that you also have access to the pedal because that's what activates the Ally Uterine Positioning System. I'm gonna put it on the floor here and step on it, and you can see that that automatically releases what I call sort of the gooseneck, and it allows you to be able to manipulate this, right? So normally what I do once I've mounted it is, of course, I make sure that it's on, grab the foot pedal, and then I line this up so that it's in a way that's comfortable for me to actually drape it, 
right? So I've got my patient's legs coming out on the sides. This is sitting in the middle. And I typically will bring it back just a little bit. And part of the reason I do that is so that I can do an exam under anesthesia as well as prep the patient. You know, if you have this too close to the perineum, what's going to happen is it's going to get all wet in the process of prepping your patient. And you don't want to get any um, fluid or, or, or foreign material in here. So I just keep it back a little bit. And that, that helps me keep it out of the way, but also set it up for draping. Now it comes with a special drape, and I'm going to go over that with you now. And you're going to see that here. I'm going to go ahead and open it. 